Hey, it's Brian Wright. This is the Daily B 180. I'm not really sure. What am I talking about? I'm talking about you didn't make it. You just got your foot in the door. So it's Brian Wright from brianwright732.com and I'm just getting over a marathon of uh, work, travel, lots of stuff. So I flew out to Las Vegas on Monday night for the uh, Dana White's Contender Series. I have an athlete, Carl Roberson. He's my dude. He was fighting as the featured bout. So flew out to Vegas on Monday night. Uh, Tuesday, had a lot of work to do while I was actually in Vegas for my retail company. Had to do a lot of marketing and promotions for a sale that we were running today on Wednesday. So Tuesday I did my marketing, then hooked up with Carl, went through the pre-fight ritual, did the fight, knocked the dude down 15 seconds, and won a contract to the UFC. Then a uh, quick bite to eat, grabbed my bag, hopped in an Uber, went to the airport, took an overnight back to New Jersey. Um, I was actually at work by 8.25 this morning. So not a lot of sleep and uh, quite a bit of work over the last three days. And it was all good, but the, I'm not sitting here talking about just my grind that way. But what I'm really talking about is Carl and what he did. So for six years, Carl and I have been working together, uh, 14, 15 fights, you know, grinding it out, up and down, highs and lows, doing what you got to do. And he goes to Contender Series, wins a fight, and he gets a contract. So now he's a UFC fighter. Hold on a second. It's always that way. But uh, now he's a UFC fighter. And all his people congratulating, great job, you did it, yay, wow, holy shit, all this stuff. And it's like, okay, you got the contract. You haven't fought in the UFC yet. So technically, you're a UFC roster dude. You still got to fight in the UFC. You have to win to keep your job. You don't take the foot off the gas. You have to keep going. So... When you get an opportunity, it's just like opening a business, starting anything. Once you get in, it doesn't mean you got where you need to be. You know, there's all this effort to get started. But once you're started, you have to keep doing everything you did prior to that to get yourself in the game. And then more because now you got to stay in it. And more importantly, the whole thing on this is that when you're on the way up, there's a lot of people that are going to shit on you. There's a lot of people that are going to hate because you're making progress, but you're not there yet. So Carl makes it to the UFC. Everybody wants to be his boy now. Everybody's high-fiving. But half of those motherfuckers were talking shit when he was laid up with a torn bicep and nobody knew if his career was going. Half of those people were saying, you better figure out what kind of job you're going to get. How are you going to take care of yourself? All this stuff. They quit on the dream. Carl stayed on the dream. He got healthy. He kept doing the work. Now he's living the dream, or at least on the doorstep of living the dream. And now all these people are coming. Now the thing is, there's that saying, if you weren't with me on the way up, I'm sorry, if you weren't with me on the way down, you're not going to be with me on the way up. And in a lot of ways, you really do have to pay attention to the people around you. If there are people around you that recognize your talent, they understand that you're acquiring skill and that you work your ass off when you're in a down spell and they see you still getting it done, it's just timing. If something's missing, they should be working with you to help you move forward and get back on track. If they're not, if they're the doubters, if they're the people that are hating on you because you're in a down, just because you were here one day, you're here now, doesn't matter. You've got to be in the long game. You've got to understand there's going to be ups and downs. And the people that are staying positive and keep pushing you forward, no matter where you are, if you're down or you're up, those are the people that you need to have around you. You don't want to have the people that celebrate a little bit of an up like it's ultimate victory or people that are going to hate on you and say, oh, you should quit and go do something else because you're down. You need the people that are going to understand who you are, what you're trying to achieve, that are going to believe in you and your ability to achieve these things. If the people around you are not like that, they should not be around you. You're better off by yourself. None of this stuff is easy. Carl's getting to the UFC. You could be doing this with relationships, your business. It doesn't matter. We all go through the same stuff. Nobody just goes up. We all do this.
It's life. That's just the way it goes. And the people that you need to surround yourself with are the ones that are going to be along for the ride and are constantly going to stay positive and be there to kick you in the ass when you need it, to pat you on the back when you need it, to give you a hand when you need it, and you're doing the same for them. That's that mutually beneficial relationship that really defines the strongest relationships and the best of people working together. So it's a cautionary tale. You can't celebrate because you got the opportunity like it's greater than the opportunity. You got to celebrate that you got the opportunity, but you got to keep going to work and you got to keep going harder. Then you can't be excited because you have new friends just because you're on the cusp of great things. And you can't forget the people that were talking shit that are now trying to be your buddies. They're fake. So beware of the people around you. See who's really there for you. See the people that want to ride your coattails, that want to ride your talents, people that want to siphon off the things that you earned. Maybe you're not an earner. Maybe you're one of those people doing that shit. And you need to turn this off and you got to go figure out what's your talent, what skills do you need to acquire, and go start working your ass off so you could be the person with a foot in the door to greatness. So that's my thing. I'm rambling a little bit today. I'm kind of tired again. In the last three days, I don't think I've slept more than about four hours. So, I'm going to go home, take a shower, I'm going to go to sleep, I'm going to get up. Hopefully I'll do one of these tomorrow and uh, I won't ramble so much. So, those of you that were along for this ride that helped us get Carl here, I appreciate every single one of you. Because it's one dude that steps in the cage to fight another human being. But it takes an army of us to help get that person ready and on point. So that's the deal. All right, Brian Wright, I'm out.